Hello YouTube, welcome to another No BS tutorial and um, today we are going to show you how to make the ultimate EMC generator um, the things we are going to need are blaze rods, plenty of blaze rods a high voltage transformer, a medium voltage transformer a low voltage transformer, an MFSU and some solar panels, high voltage some filters, a condenser some stone, glass fibre cable, a couple of macerators, a timer and some redstone tube. Right, so let's get started. Right, so you need to do three bro blocks in a row, just like this. And put it two up. Put a condenser on top. Take the middle block away. Get a filter. Now you need to get, this is a bit tricky, you need to get the filter so that the output is pointing down the way. Um, so you can do this just by going like this oops, not like that not like that either let's see oops just like that so that the small hole, the output is at the bottom right, and get some redstone tube stick that there like that, that's good right, next step is to get your macerators so one, two, three, four. You can use as many or as little as you like. You just need to sort of worry about powering it. I'll take them away. One, two, three, four. Right. Get your tube, redstone tube. Just stick it like this. And that is pretty much the basics of the machine itself. Um, right. <coughs> the next step is to actually power the machines. In fact, no, no, it's not. We need to stick the filters in. Right. Get your filters, and you need to place them directly behind each macerator, making sure that the small hole, again, is coming out the bottom, at the back. So, and again. Do this for each macerator. Okay, that's fine. Right, get your tubing again, line it up like so. There we go. That's great. Right, and get extend it from the middle up to the top condenser. There we go. And so that will these filters will extract the blaze powder from the macerators along here up into the tube and into this chest which in turn will make blaze rods okay right so yeah now we need to power it so do this so for this you'll need to all your transformers um, some glass fibre cable and your solar panels and your MFSU right so let's start this off MFSU surround it, I mean one high voltage solar panel is enough um, but you know if you like a bit of overkill like myself just do that, do that away just now Get your high voltage transformer. Now the macerators take low voltage. Um, so if you put anything more than the low voltage, which is 32 EUT into it, they will blow up. So if you want to use the high voltage solar panels, you will need to convert the <coughs> high voltage down to low voltage. So, yeah. High voltage transformer, medium voltage transformer, and then the low voltage transformer. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. We're going to dig down two. And right underneath, along the line, under the macerators. Just like so. And then we'll just okay, we'll hook them up. Right. <coughs> Along here, up one, up one, there we go. 
Uh, as you can see, MFSU has been powered really quickly and the machines are receiving power. Okay. Right. Um, you can fill in these holes. Let's give me some of this. Just to tidy it up a bit. There we go. Right, so the next step is you will need your timer and some redstone. Get some of that. Oops, not an engine. Redstone. And a timer. Right. So to actually get the send a current through the filters, I'm um, just going to do this. Stick that there. Stick that there. And. Oops, wrong way. That's not going to work. Right, so the problem here, this redstone isn't being... No, right, that's fine, it's just glitching out for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, all the filters, when given a redstone current, will automatically extract whatever you set. So, just to test, uh, I'm going to put some blaze rods in each macerator. There we go, you can hear the machines going. There we go. So that'll macerate, given one rod will give you five blaze powder, um, <coughs> which will then be extracted via the filter and put into this chest which in turn makes blaze rods. As you can see, there's the first lot going in. There we go. So already we've got three blaze rods. And then the blaze rods, once the machines are full, goes into this chest and can make anything you like. Can we just stick this in here just like that? And that will just continue to go forever. Um, that's pretty much, that is it. That's the beast there. So yeah, once the machines need um, more blaze rods, it will just automatically send the blaze rods along the pipes into whatever machine needs it. And any excess will be put into the condenser. And going towards whatever you like. Um, I usually use it for red matter, dark matter, you know, Omega stars, that sort of thing. And uh, as well, you can put some overclockers into the macerators. Let's see. Take this away, get some of these, just to make them go a bit faster. There you go, you can instantly see. There we go, the speed increase there. Um, let's do the same there. Right. <clears throat> and there you go, look how fast that's going now. Right. There we go, and it's extracting 64 at a time, as much as it can get at a time. Um, just to regulate that, um, you can put blaze powder into the filters in a second here. And you can make it just spit out one at a time uh, if your machine's going too fast. So, and again with this filter you can put in you can make it extract only 64 rods um, yeah and that's pretty much that that's the machine there and yeah that will generate as much EMC as you need and you can obviously modify it to whatever you need 
And yep, that's it. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys in all time. Cheers, bye.